Omówione najważniejsze sprawy związane z dalszym rozwojem Kids would sing songs, put on plays, stuff like that. Afterwards, the Moors walked home. It was a family of six, uh, four kids, two adults. They came home with Ina and Lena Stillinger, who were just two little girls at ages eight and 11 who were friends with the family. Uh, that next morning, Harry Peckham, a neighbor who lived right next door, noticed that nobody was up doing the chores. Uh, she kind of tried to peek in the windows, knock on the doors. She realized something was pretty wrong. So she got a relative down. He used a skeleton key on the front door, walked directly into this blue room here. As soon as he came in, he'd seen what happened. He ran out, he got the cops, the town physicians, and they went upstairs and found six more bodies, all of which were hit roughly 20 or 30 times each with a blunt end of the ax. At that time is when the town physician opened the window in the kids' room upstairs and said, dear God, there's somebody dead in every bed waited until they went to sleep and then crept out of there with the axe, went over to the bed, and JB was right there. One vicious blow split his skull wide open. Killed the six upstairs, came down, killed these two, uh, left the axe here, out the door he went. Kids are here, uh, possibly the parents, Sarah, things like that. But a lot of people believe either the killer's bound to the house for whatever reason, or that evil, which I believe, when he pulled this off, that evil just soaked into the house, the floors, everything. They offered six months free rent afterwards for anybody who would stay here. And they went through quite a few owners, and they all left from experiences of uh, seeing a man with an axe to giggles, doors opening and closing, footsteps. Uh, one of the owners actually stabbed a knife into his own hand. He said something forced him into it. So this place is definitely notoriously haunted. I got this really, really cold feeling on my left arm. And it just, it just startled me actually when it happened to me because it was an extremely hot night when, this, when I was doing this that it looked like a white light, or a light had come and lit on my arm. And that's, that's one of my uh, experiences that I probably will never forget. The old attic with the, the good Amityville windows here. A lot of people think that the evil kind of centers around this place. There's been people held down, scratched, locked in there, you name it. We've had several Ouija boards left, we've had voodoo stuff left, hoodoo stuff. Uh, we had a group of kids that evidently had a demonic or demon evoking ceremony. I came in to clean up the house, 
the satanic symbolism and prayers and all that was left behind. If something evil is in here, then it needs to be confronted. This is just kind of, I'm sorry, this is just bad juju, I think, tonight. All these mannequins. I know. Sense. this is, is, well, the, the pan of bloody water with a rag, exactly where it was found that morning. Uh, when the killer did all this, he actually took time to eat, evidently, there was some food left, uh, the mirrors were covered, all the objects were placed, but he took the time to wipe off. Uh, and so that's why we did killer for some reason is here or whatever evil is in this house I want you to know that we're not gonna be afraid of you at all tonight uh, I plan on personally challenging you to anything if you want to push me scratch me hit me I'm right here let's do it I've had a something over here but that it looked like a white light or a light had come and lit on my arm A lot of better luck interacting with whatever negatives in this house and I definitely believe that that's still lingering here. <laughs> I'm ready to get this thing moving, get this thing anchored up. Just jumped up to 2.8 on that. You can slam me up against the wall. Take this axe. Dude, you look evil holding that axe. <laughs> <laughs> I was making sure I stand by the stairs just in case you decide to look yeah. at me all crazy with them crazy looking eyes right now. <laughs> So, you know, if you're man enough to kill a family of eight and you can't even make a simple little knocking noise. Did you just hear that? Yeah, it sounded like a growl. I just heard a growl. Where'd it come from for you when you heard it? I heard it like just in front of me to the left. I, I heard it like. Exactly. I, I tell where I hear it. Well, I, I heard it to the left. Like in the attic? No, it sounds like it came from the room you're in right now. <laughs> I think you're starting to <coughs> push its buttons right now. major goosebumps, dude. I don't know if you can see that. No, I don't think you can see that good. You have to put your arm up on the angle. I can feel whatever's in this room right now. 
Ro and I both heard a growling sound. Pretty unimpressed, really. That was pretty weak. Yeah. I mean, are you wanting to scare us or sound like a kitten purring? <laughs>